Hey everybody, what we're going to be tying today is an indicator nymph pattern we call the Fruple. Uh, this pattern is named after a friend of mine which I fish with quite frequently and he one day was out fishing and the last thing he had in his box he couldn't find what he's looking for. He says, well by golly I've got this and I'm going to try this. And I told him, well I don't think it's going to work but shoot it did and he caught an 18 inch rainbow in about 30 seconds. So let's get to tying. Now, materials for this fly are number 14 scud hook by lightning strike, okay? A brass bead or a tungsten bead, 330 seconds, okay? Some copper wire, either small or brassy, okay? Then six aught unithread, black or brown. Okay. For dubbing, we're going to be using, on this particular fly, we're going to be using some peacock ice dub. Okay. Now another nice touch this thing, which works really well also, is some UV ice dub and dark olive. Okay, so suit yourself. Today we're going to be using the peacock. Um, the UV dub works real well at times, so, you know, consider that too. Then we're going to use Spirit River Micro Round, micro round Rubber Olive Legs. Alrighty. So let's get the tying. Well, I left out one thing. For the tail, we're going to be using Unihair, which comes in a hank about like this. We're just going to grab three or four three or four uh, fibers of that and make a tail out of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take and we're going to put the thread on our hook, okay, just like that. Trim that off. All right. And get back almost to the back here. I'll come around to the bend. Now we're going to take this unit here and I'm taking these fibers and what I'm doing, I'm, I've got three or four in my hand right now. I'm just going to double those over. So we're going to double what we got right here. Alrighty. Just like that. And we're going to trim them off even. And we're going to make this tail just a little bit shorter than the length of the hip hook. Okay, so we're going to tie it around like that. If you're a little long here, don't worry, you can trim it later, this stuff, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Okay, so there's our tail right there. Now that's a little long, so after I get this tied down, I'm going to come back and trim that up. Okay, now what we're going to do, to keep a uniform body, we're just going to wrap that baby all the way back up to behind the eye of the hook. I'm going to trim this off. Okay. Just like that. Trim that like that. Now, I'm going to come back here. Now, you can do this last. You can go ahead and do it now, which I'm going to choose to do right now. Let's even those, that tail up. Okay. Now, the next step is to take a piece of copper wire. And what we're going to do is we're back up towards the eye of the hook now, right behind that bead. And we're going to take this copper wire and we're just going to put it down on the hook. Okay, and you can actually put it underneath the bead and then we'll just wrap around. Now, an important part of this, in order to make this body look uniform, is to keep that copper wire on top of the hook. If you let it wrap around, then the body will look asymmetrical. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm taking my thumb and index finger, I'm just kind of pinching it down and going back a little bit, a little further back. A little further back, a little further back, okay? And pretty soon we're at the back, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to just wrap our thread back up to the eye of the hook, just behind the bead. Next step, we're going to give ourselves a little room here. We're just going to take and we're going to wrap this wire. Now if you've got a vise that's a rotary vise, you can use that feature right here. Uh, it's just really just about as easy to wrap it by hand 
Um, it's going to come forward with that, just one wrap right next to the other. Okay. space between those wraps so let's go backwards a little bit see if we can get that wrap a little tighter here right, make it look just a little better I'm not sure it makes a whole lot of difference to the fish they seem to see the flash I guess is what they see you'll get some vicious takes with this fly wrap this thing up behind the bead if you wanted to. There's no real need to. We're going to go probably seven-eighths of the way to the... up the hook behind the bead. Okay. And once you get to right about here, you've gone, you've gone far enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, move our thread back a bit, I'm going to wrap around two or three times, just like this. Two or three times behind. I'm just going to helicopter this thing off. Okay, no need really to... There we go. No need really to cut it. Now, we're going to put a flashback on this. It just makes it, makes it just a little sexier to the fish. So, what we're using is some Mylar strip, number 10, which is kind of medium wide. If you get smaller in this fly, you can tie this fly down to a size 20. If you want to go smaller, you're going to use the next size down on this and maybe use a couple of little strips. But we're going to take this, I'm just going to put this on the hook and capture it. Okay, I'm going to put it up on top of the hook. Alrighty, now I'm going to tie it down right about to here. Okay. Tighten that a little bit, come forward. All right. And we're going to take, wax our thread a little bit. Okay. We got some ice dub. All right, this peacock. We're just going to put this on here. And you'll notice this stuff is shiny. And that's the whole fly is shiny. Put it on here. Now, if you have trouble, even if you wax your thread or don't like to wax it, whatever, you, if you have trouble with it, you can actually spit on your fingers. It helps it hold a little better. Now, once you get to this stage, I'm just right behind the behind the bead right here, so I'm going to wrap back. Okay, we're going to want a little space here. Not too far, just about like that. Okay. And then we're going to come back to behind the bead. Now a good tip here is when you dub to dub back, okay, when you put the the uh, dubbing on your on your thread, dub back this way. That way if you come back here and you've got a little too much dubbing on your on your thread, you can compensate for it. You can put a little more back here and just wrap the thread over it and help mat it down a little bit. If you come you start the back and come forward if you got too much. You can have too much here, not enough room for the eye of your hook. Okay. All right. So we've gotten this far. Now we're going to take our thumb. We're just going to crimp out a little spot behind that bead right there. And you'll see, see why in just a second. We have these little tiny legs which Spirit River makes. I really like them for, you know, anything 18 and down. Now this is a... a 14 so you know you might say well it's a little too small but I don't think so but if you want to tie something a little a little bigger you know you think it looks a little better that's the beauty of fly tying you go right ahead 
Okay. Now, let's see how little these little boogers are. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do in this little spot we crimped down with our thumb, I'm just going to take and we're going to put our leg. See how it just holds there? That's one. I'm going to put another one in. At this time, you want to, if you want to come in and, and put a little wrap around, you can. Okay. But you really don't have to. All right. This. So there's your two legs. Now the only thing about these legs is they are just they are very mobile, I guess the word for it. So we got our legs and they will fight you every once in a while. So I'll tell you what let's do. Let's just get this one kind of tied down by one wrap right here. And if you want to figure out that a little bit, you're welcome to it. You got plenty of room here. Okay. So come back like this. So that's tied down. Now we're gonna put that other leg in there. Get it up off the table here. Okay. That's gonna put that down just like that. Okay. And we're gonna hold it like that. Come around like that. That. Okay. At this point, you're gonna say, "Dang, I got legs everywhere," and you do, but they'll all even out. You'll see what this thing looks like in a bit. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna tie that down just a little bit more. Okay. Last step. Take this flashback. Gonna pull it over just like this. Pull the legs back. Hold it, and just capture that, one wrap, okay, two wraps, three wraps, okay, and we'll pull it back, pull everything back, wrap like that, okay. Now, what I like to do is go ahead and tie this thing off before I start trimming this other junk out of here. So, we're just going to take and put a little three or four turn whip finish on it. step is get your legs trimmed how you like them okay some people prefer them longer than others on these little tiny legs I like to leave them just a little tiny bit longer so they'll wiggle more okay the thing about legs just remember you can always take them off you can't put them back on all right so Rupal. I ask you, how can any respecting trout turn that down? All right, enjoy. <laughs>